So I've been getting a lot of emails, uh, questions, all that good stuff. A lot of you guys reached out to me about my uh, back injury and my recent surgery. And I got to say, guys, thank you so much. Definitely appreciate the uh, the love and concern and all that stuff. So I figured I'd do an update just kind of explaining what exactly happened, my surgery, and uh, where I'm at after it. So kind of rewind a little bit. Um, this happened about six, seven months ago. I was at work. I was lifting something heavy messed up my shoulder, didn't realize I messed up my shoulder, continued to do the work, and then when I went to lift something, the back took the brunt of the uh, force on it. Went to the doctor, did the whole uh, worker's comp junk, whatever, and long story short, I had a slight tear in my shoulder, and my back was acting up, and I spoke to the uh, doctors that they sent me to, and the doctors accused me of stacking injuries and didn't want to treat it. Well, that becomes a whole battle in a story in itself. Long story short, that I can say on it, guys, um, definitely go see your own doctors, thoroughly document everything. And um, if you get hurt at work, make sure you get taken care of. You're your own advocate and uh, don't expect anybody to do you any favors. Companies just want to save money just like everybody else. But I digress and we keep moving forward. So I'm going through therapy through my shoulder and I'm realizing that my back is just slowly getting worse. It's, it hurts to uh, do my job. It hurts to build computers, lift things, um, went on a used parts hustle. And I couldn't even lift the three computers that I bought because my back was just giving out on me. Um, just kept on getting worse. Finally got a doctor's appointment, which because, you know, everything going on in the world, doctor's appointments are like scheduled months in advance or whatever. Get a doctor's appointment. He suggests the MRI. Long story short, MRI turns out I have a uh, herniated L5-S1. So pretty much I herniated my L5 and the little jelly stuff that uh, insulates the disc is pushing right on that nerve causing sciatica, extreme sciatica. Felt like my um, leg was on fire at times, pins and needles, couldn't walk, had to limp. I mean, it just hurt to do anything. If I got up, was standing more than two to three minutes, I was in pain, couldn't sit for long periods of time, couldn't sleep. Definitely a miserable experience. So um, tried physical therapy and a whole bunch of other different things. And long story short on that, didn't work. Went back to work because I thought I was feeling better. After a month being back at work, I woke up one morning and I'm like, I can't do this no more. So I went, saw the doctor and the doctor tells me, yeah, you're a candidate for a microdisectomy surgery. All right. Schedules me up. May 12th, I have the surgery. Uh, went in May 12th, was in a lot of pain and hurting, limping, all that stuff. The drive was like an hour away and it hurt. Woke up feeling really groovy, feeling pretty good, probably because of all the cool drugs they gave me, mostly because they got rid of that stuff that was pressing on my nerve. Um, great hospital, took great good care of me, went home. And I mean, initially, right after the surgery, that pain is gone. I'm actually able to walk. I was home actually two, three hours later, which was pretty cool. Next day, woke up. That pain is still gone. Everything's feeling good. I'm walking normal, but man, my back is killing me. And you got to think about it. They cut you open. They remove something from your body and it's not natural. So the body's going to be angry. And of course, they got to move muscles and kind of move things out of the way and all that stuff. So yeah, you know, you're going to get some backlash from your body. Biggest thing that I could uh, recommend for you guys, number one, take your medicines. Whatever they give you, take it. If you're worried about addiction, just be mindful of it. Just take your medicine. That's number one. Number two, make sure you have somebody there. Um, first day one, day two, now we're on day five. I mean, you can't lift, you can't bend. Simple stuff is pulling up your pants and walking and even eating is just kind of rough. So have somebody there to kind of help you and uh, take good care of you because you're going to be loopy from all that medicine. I will definitely say that. Another thing too, um, start walking. Walking is going to help. It's going to help uh, rehydrate the disc from what I understand. And that makes a huge difference in your recovery. And just don't be such of a couch potato. As far as now, what I'm doing is I'm doing my walks every hour. I go for like a little uh, three to five minute walks just to kind of, you know, keep the body going. It's feeling a lot better. I'm walking way better, more nimble. Things are going uh, great and I'm confident in my recovery and I'll be able to get back to normal be able to record and do videos and all that stuff. Uh, the whole DLM Tech Garage is kind of put on the back burner. Do got videos uh, still coming out, probably until I run out of videos, primarily because, well, I'm not recording anything. But I'm really looking into the, uh, in case you guys are, are curious and wondering, really looking into the uh, the new Optiplexes for the 6th, uh, 7th gen in Intel uh, as far as like making them gaming PCs and case swaps and also uh, HP has some cool stuff. I got some really cool ideas, some scientific experiments I want to do. So definitely taking this time to brainstorm and uh, get some things going. And if you guys uh, want to see some stuff, just definitely let me know. Give me some ideas and I could definitely uh, use for it. But as far as uh, this injury and everything, um, guys, uh, you herniate your disc. 
uh, take care of your back, man, because this ain't no joke and it hurts. But I'm so glad that um, I'm in the right direction. It should be good. It should be back to work and uh, everything should work out better. So um, thank you guys. I would definitely appreciate all the uh, support and um, definitely uh, send me some messages and stuff if, uh, for me to look into because uh, I definitely got some good ideas going and hopefully we could kind of move this channel forward. So thank you guys.